Today, I'm going to show you how to create Stella texture within UE5 using the Texture Grab plugin. This plugin only works with UE5.4 or later version. Earlier version won't have it. To get started, head to the top menu bar, click on Edit, scroll down to Plugins. In the search box, type Texture Grab and take the box next to it and you are good to go with the installation I've already done that but if you are installing it for the first time the system might prompt you to restart your project do that before proceeding now let's create a new folder in your content browser right click choose new folder and I'll name my 004 right click again and find texture under Texture, you will see Texture Graft ready for use. Once you created a file, rename it to something descriptive like tg underscore word. And you can double click to open it. Upon opening, you will notice that the interface of this plugin resembles Substance 3D Designer quite a bit. In fact, it operates fundamentally on similar principle. And you can see on the left sidebar, you will find the blueprint node palette where you can access nodes. And the math section includes nodes we frequently use in UE material uh, like add, uh, multiply, divide, and loop. And there are also addiction blueprint nodes specific to texture creation. As you drag a node into the center workspace, you can see the detail panel on the last update with the node parameters, allowing you to treat them as needed. The upper node is responsible for previewing your texture like that. And you will see the 2D preview on the right hand side with the 3D preview below it. And let's dive into creating our texture. And first, we need a basic brick pattern. We'll grab the pattern nodes, which extend three tiles and the region's basic shapes. Adjust the X value to 5 and Y to 9. Because I want a staggered brick pattern, and you can set the offset to minus 0 0.5 or 0 0.5, both work the same. And next, adjust the brightness threshold to 0 0.36 and set the C to 30 for the predictable grayscale distribution. For size threshold, Set it to 0.19 to add some variety in bright sizes. Now we can see the effect of the 2D preview. Our bright edges might look too sharp, so we should rummage down. And we can see the bevel section. Adjust the bevel value to 0.054 and give it a brick step. Change the color threshold to 0.044. To increase the black mass area, if you want smaller gaps between bricks. And you can find in the placement section, you can adjust the basing X to 0.0068 and spacing Y to 0.008, which will tighten those gaps slightly. Alright, let's continue with dialing the edges of our brick texture. Since Tesla Graph have fewer nodes compared to Substance 3D designers, we can manually shape and arrange each brick, so our approach will be a bit more indirect. Let's grab some material for Crystal Bridge. I'm using the muddy and the rocky texture, but feel free to choose what suits your style. Drag and drop your texture into the Tesla Graph window. Since I'm using a multi channel texture, I'll use the Combat Channel node to extract the R channel. Bring in the HSV node and set saturation to 0 to desaturate the texture. Then use the Level node to increase contrast, making the max more pronounced. For individual breaks, we'll need the Shape node. Set its Y value to 0.43 to create the basic brick shape. We'll use the divide node for further operations, but our mask might not show due to shaped edges, so we should adjust the slope width to widen the edges, making the mask visible. I 
after the base shape, use transform to arrange the bricks, matching the earlier setting x to 5, y to 9. With the stagger offset of minus 0.5, track skill and stretching to maintain proportions. Notice the tie gaps, which is what we want. Now, blend the mask with the base shape using a love node. This gives up a more style-like look. Add more variety, we will blend our texture and mask again. The red blending with the second max might not look good. So, we can copy the pattern, increase the size and brighten the threshold to one to darken areas. Then blend these for better shapes. Simplify this detail with the levels node. Balance the edge detail with complexity. For color, use two color blended with the love node. Then mix this color with your max for the clean air rich effect. To add more intricate details like rogue texture, you also can extract the R channel. This tray. Adjust contrast. Set threshold with threshold node. Tell using transform. And possibly invert color with an invert node for better masking. Now the shapes are too repetitive, so we need to add another layer of mask. Mix this detail with your main texture using Lerp. Connecting the max to S and detail to X for enhanced visual. At this point, we can blend the max texture with our existing color base using a color node to set a darkened pink shade. Select the node you want to group. Press C to create a new group and end it appropriately. Once everything is set up, it's time to create normal maps. We use the normal from head math node to convert our mask into the normal maps. To add an artificial shadows effect to the brick edges, so we should adjust the offset to 0.005. And next, we should combine channel to extract the B channel from this normal map and convert it to grayscale. And now we should add the brightness contrast. Adjust the brightness value to 0.17 and the contrast to 5.22. Now the preview is black. Probably because I am linking the Rory channel, we can try use the G channel. In the normal parameters, we adjust the strength to 1.18. Now this preview is normal. And now we should use the love node to blend the base color with the shadow. Reviewing by click on different nodes to see the shadows successfully applied to the texture. And we can duplicate the normal convention node. We can Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And we should increase the offset value further. 
Uh, maybe we should adjust the offset to 0.009. Okay. And we should remove the color and adjust contrast. To set the shadow color. And we should combine a color node and a scatter node. And then mix them with a multiply node to achieve the desired effect. Last, we can connect the final result to the output node for preview. If you want to export multiple files, simply connect them to separate output nodes. Blend the two high mass to preserve transitions. And that is high map. And press C. By default, texture graph export texture to the part of your new file to customize the save location. And you can click the down around icon and to select your desired path. One setting are complete. Click export and select your texture you wish to export. Wait a moment for the export process to finish successfully. That includes this video. I hope this content has been helpful to you. Goodbye and happy texturing!